Hi, how are you guys? We're good. Yeah, good. yeah, same. So we have now had this laser for how many days? Working? Uh, working doesn't count because it hasn't worked, basically. We have now had the laser since August 2nd. It is September 17th and our machine has really only worked for probably 14 to 16 days, maybe. Not long at all. Yeah, exactly. Not long at all. So the last video was we installed the laser tube and then we realized that the water pump was bad. It took about a week after that for Matter Hacker to finally be able to get in touch with Flux for them to be able to send the water pump out. So it took about a week to get it from Matter Hacker. If I had this machine for a long time, I probably would have bought the one from Amazon that was only $29. But obviously since it's still under warranty, I didn't want to do that. Got the water pump installed and the inconsistencies are just unreal. There's some cuts that cut perfect, and then there's some cuts that cut garbage. There's a number of different things that could be the issue. So at this point, we've spent over $200 just in wood for it to be test cuts. Different types of wood. We got a variety pack yeah. from craftcloset.com. Some of the wood cut through great, some of it didn't cut through at all. But whatever ones that cut through, never cut through all the way on the first cut. Correct. It was always, we had to run the machine four or five times. So we're going to show you some of the stuff that we've done, some of the good ones, some of the stuff we painted, all sorts of things. So we did this acrylic sign. This is our deer camp. This cut through really good. Obviously acrylic's only eighth inch, so you don't have the issue. The edges are pretty good. But overall, acrylic cuts extremely easily. My goal with this whole thing is I'm gonna do a lot more work with acrylic than I'll probably do with wood, just because I enjoy making the acrylic signs versus the wood signs. She enjoys the wood more. This is an old English D with the Detroit Lions logo through it. You can see, here's a big inconsistency with the laser. It um, is a rough edge, it's not smooth. All of the edges do come out black because it's burning the wood, but we did a three-dimensional type thing, if you can see that. Um, I stained this background, and then I painted the D blue and then the Lions logo in gray. And I like these because you get to choose your colors and really just make it whatever you want. So next, we did this. It's our 12-gauge logo. It's our old apparel company. It's not something that we necessarily do anymore, but I mean, this one came out great. Actually, I lied, let me look at the back. If you can tell, there's edges that I had to cut out because it just, it's not cutting through 100%. But the sign came out wonderful. It looks great. It's probably my favorite one that we've done. I like the stain, two-dimensional, multicolor. This is one of our completely finished products that we've done, and we did it for us. It's for our dogs. We're going to be able to hang our collars, leashes for each of our dogs all the way across. This was painted with our paint booth downstairs, which you'll see in one of our videos. And overall, it came out great. We only had to cut the little feet and the name, but that actually cut through easy the first time. So this right here is something different. It's not the three-dimensional look. This is something that we etched. It's a charcuterie board that we bought. We took our last name and did um, the initial with the cursive in it. And I think this would be really cute for really anything. Meat, cheese, tray, whatever. And then being able to leave this out in the corner. Stuff like this where we're engraving, we don't see any issues with that. It does great. Everything comes out the way that we want it to. It's when we want to do a full cut through that we're having problems. Yeah, cutting through is impossible. Which comes to the last board. Baltic birch, we bought from Crafts Edge. To me, the density on this wood is good. It's not perfect by any means, but there should be no air bubbles, air pockets, glue issues that I can tell from the outside edges just based off the piece of wood. This is the front. These are the letters that fell out or numbers that fell out right away. But if you look at the back, most of this design did not cut through. 
this was actually done with four passes at multiple speeds and multiple power settings. We ran it at 55 power, 60 power, and three millimeter and four millimeter per second. I mean, you can see some of it's broken loose where I could pop this out, but then if I try to pop out the center right here, it's solid. Like, there's nothing I can do. And it boils down to spending $5,000 on a machine that has literally put us five weeks behind. I'm very technology savvy. I've taught myself Final Cut, I've taught myself videography, I've taught myself how to make t-shirts, all sorts of things, and this machine, the hardware is just unbelievable. It just, it does not work. We have to go back to the drawing board, we have to conversate between two of us and kind of decide what we want to do. We don't know if we want a whole new laser in general, or if we just got a lemon one on the line. There's a lot of things that could be, but I think that if we want to make this a business like we talked about, that we're going to have to consider spending a little extra money to get an upgrade. So that's kind of what's been going on. Um, obviously these videos are shot from a couple weeks back, and we are uploading every Sunday. So you're not seeing it real time, but you guys are seeing exactly what we're going through. We're telling you exactly the issues we're having. The progression that it's happening. The amount that we're talking to Matter Hacker, the amount, I mean, Steven from Matter Hacker is probably going insane because I call him very consistently. Probably more than you call me. Yes, definitely more than I call you. But yeah, if you guys want to continue to see this progression, see this business, see what we make, and see if we can actually make some money off it, um, hit that like button, which is going to be down there, and the subscribe button, and don't forget to check back. Videos get posted every Sunday at noon, and uh, yeah, cool. Thanks, guys. Yeah, you did a weird wave. <laughs>